Members of the Guyana Teachers Union and officials from the Ministry of Labor is slated to meet again next week Monday as they continue negotiation talks aimed at getting teachers to return to the classrooms. Until then, President of the Guyana Teachers Union, Mark Light, on Tuesday said teachers will continue to strike. We are working on a way forward. The meeting will be convened on Monday, Monday the 10th of June. Monday the 10th of June 2024 at 10 a.m. And that meeting will take place at the um, Ministry of Labor. Again, this is an, an effort in the maturity and responsible union that we are. Um, we have reached out because we believe that this situation uh, must not go on forever. That through dialogue, that is one of the ways that mature, responsible people can mend the differences. Noting that students across the country continue to be affected, Light reiterated that there could be no way forward on the process until the terms of resumption are satisfactory to the union. But we are not going to compromise further. Our position remains that our teachers must be given a safety net because in the previous times negotiations were not done in good faith we are in this battle for the benefit of every single teacher we will continue to we'll continue to have our voices raised we'll continue to share with all and sundry where we ought to be an initial five-week strike began on February the 5th with teachers demanding higher salary increases and duty-free concessions, among other benefits. After a court-mediated process in March, talks between the Education Ministry and the Ghana Teachers Union resumed. However, discussions were halted when the Education Ministry indicated that there was no fiscal space to cater for increases for the period 2019 to 2023. On April 19th, a court ruling by Justice Sandel Kisun stated that teachers' salaries should not be reduced because of their involvement in the previous five-week strike organized by the Ghana Teachers' Union. The government has moved to appeal the ruling. Reporting for the newsroom, Shardabakas.